Hey guys, it's Retrohead here, welcome back to another video. Today I've got loads of charity shop finds to show you that I've had over the last few weeks, so I can't wait for this one. If you enjoy the video, please like, please subscribe, but without further ado, let's get on with showing you these finds. So here we have the first stack of finds, so this one's actually in a tip shop. Um, there's a tip near me that uh, have like a, it's basically like a, like a shipping crate that you can walk in and they just have stuff and anything you want you pick out and they just ask member of staff prices and it's always mega cheap. So all this stuff was only 50 pence each. Now the first one actually looks better than it is and that is Mario Kart Wii in the cardboard sleeve. I haven't got the cardboard sleeve of Mario Kart Wii and as you know if you've watched the channel I'm a massive fan of anything Mario. So I was really really excited when I found this but when I found it it was empty which is a real shame but I still said I'd give them 50p for the empty case because you can't put a price on that artwork. Moving on, we have another Wii game that is actually in there this time, and we have Wii Sports. You can't go wrong with a complete copy of Wii Sports for only 50p. Um, I haven't got the cardboard sleeve version of this either, so I will be keeping this, as I do like collecting those variants. And I've got to say, what a game for 50p. Leave a comment if you think Wii Sports is just absolutely timeless. And next up, we have a couple of PS2 games. Here we have Need for Speed Carbon. I haven't played this Need for Speed, so you have to let me know if it's any good or not. And um, I have got it on the 360 as well. This one isn't actually complete, but you can't really complain for 50p. And the next game is a game on the PS2. It's actually really rare. At the time of recording this, there's only one copy in CEX. It is a racing game. That's NASCAR 09. And if you've watched the channel, you know I love racing games. Racing games of all kinds, like from Mario Kart to F1 games and everything in between. So to get a NASCAR game is really awesome. So I only have a couple in the collection. This one is complete in the box and absolutely awesome. So really pleased to grab this for just 50p. And the last thing is something totally off topic, and that is the Simpsons VHS. I am trying not to collect VHSs, but when you see them for only 50p, how am I supposed to resist that? Now, the next set of games are these. Now, as you can see, they're all PS3 games. Now, these games, um, I actually got my grandma to pick up for me because I like leaving my numbers with charity shops. And uh, this was a charity shop that my grandma lived right near. So she paid £20 for this stack of games, which you're probably thinking is quite a lot for a charity shop, which I'll agree it is, but there are some great games here. Now, the first one was actually empty. There was no disc in it, which is absolutely gutting because I really, really want this game. And that is the Ratchet & Clank HD Collection. I really want this game in the collection. As you can see, they had it marked for £7.50 in the shop. But when she opened it, no disc. Which I would have loved to have had this game. It's Ratchet and Clank 1, 2 and 3. Um, either just HD upgrades or remastered. Let me know. I'm not sure if they're actually remastered or just graphical upgrades. But it's good to have the case and manual for free. Because they did just throw this one in. The next game is Ratchet and Clank Q-Force. This one, I don't really know much about this one to be fair. Uh, the only one that I've played a lot on the PS3 is Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. All the games were marked at 7 50 a piece. If you can see that. Because you gave her the free. Because there's free more to show you for £20. Let me know if you've played this one in the comments. And another Ratchet & Clank game, Ratchet & Clank All for One. Again, not played this one. Don't know anything about it, so if you do, again, please let me know in the comments. This one looks really fun. Uh, from the back, it looks awesome. Like I say, I've only really played Tours of Destruction on the PS3, and I did really enjoy that. So I'm really looking forward to playing all of these games. And the last one is another Ratchet & Clank game, and it's a collector's edition, but it is sadly in quite bad condition. And that is Ratchet & Clank A Crack in Time. As you can see, it's... It's pretty bad, to be honest. But the lenticular cover is absolutely awesome. Moving on inside, it does have this cool bit that folds out. This is an art book, that's a manual, and that's a copy of the game. A pretty cool collector's edition, in my opinion. Next up, I have something really random that I've never picked up on the channel before, and that is a big box PC game. Um, I believe it's called Hexen. I know absolutely zero about this, but it was, as you can see, 50p. And I know zero about this, but the horror artwork on it looks absolutely awesome. I'll show you what's inside. So as you can see, there was the outer box. Opening it up, it's not just like one disc in a huge box. I think they're such a waste of space. But um, here we have a little manual for it. Here we have the case for the game, which in my opinion looks a bit like a heavy metal CD. And we have two manuals for the game, one not in colour and one in colour. Now if I show you the inside pages of this, as it's brand new, it's hardly ever been opened, you can sort of hear it. But it is written in like really creepy writing. And I don't even have a mean of playing this PC CD ROM game, but for 50p, I'm really pleased with this one. Moving on, we have a nice little stack of Xbox games for just £1 each. This one is an original Xbox game, this one is 360 games. So the first one, I don't really know much about this. I'm going to have to read it from the spine as I say it. The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay, I think. 
I know zero about this game, but it was an Xbox exclusive for a pound, as you can see, only for Xbox. It's in great condition, complete with a manual, and you can't really complain for just a quid. And the 360 games were both Forza games, and that is Forza Horizon and Forza Horizon 2. I believe these are both open world driving games, which I'm really looking forward to trying. Sadly, these are both missing their manuals, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, really, really looking forward to trying out these games. Let me know if you've played them in the comments. And finally, I have a few DVD box sets to show you. I am kind of slowly getting back into collecting DVDs. So firstly, we have Toy Story 1, 2 and 3 in this really cool box set. This was only 50p, as was all of the box sets that I'm going to show you. And this is really awesome. Me and my dad are actually looking forward to watching these. I think you'll be a bit more interested in the next two. So here we have Pokemon Black and White film sort of in this one package, which is really cool. I absolutely love the artwork on this. Anything Pokemon for 50p I'm going to want to buy. And this is in great condition too. It looks absolutely bright. I'm not actually sure when this was, uh, when this came out. 2011. So this is 13 years old, so it's actually really cool that it's in this good a condition. And last but not least, as you can see from my smile, the find I'm most pleased with, another DVD box set for 50p, and that is Sonic Underground. I am so pleased with this. I've wanted this for absolutely years, but never found a copy before. This was re-released in 2008, and as you can see, the condition is like, it looks brand new. And all the discs inside are really good condition as well. I'll just show you the front of the DVDs, because these are absolutely awesome. And I cannot wait to watch these. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please like and please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.